Hi, I'm Nan Simonson, and I am in the middle of a four video afternoon because I am getting ready for a fifth, 50th birthday party, surprise party for a friend. And I have been asked to bring my charcuterie board. And that is going to be a cheese board with some grapes and some hummus and crackers and sliced fruit. And I did it all through the holidays. But wait, Nan, you don't eat cheese. <laughs> I am a whole food plant-based health coach, health and culinary coach. I haven't eaten meat for almost five years and or any animal. And my cheeses were vegan cheeses. My diet is a vegan diet, but actually cleaner than a vegan diet because a vegan diet can be French fries and Coke. And I don't swing that way. I am all about eating the foods, loving the foods that love you back. In other words, foods that will make you healthy, whole foods that are plant-based, that are as close to nature as possible. But wait, Nan, your cheeses aren't close to nature. Sure they are. They're just ground up stuff. <laughs> and it's delicious and fun to have some um, of those old feelings and that old mouthfeel, but know that it's nutritious. So today, I just finished a sliceable orange cheese, um, vegan orange cheese, and you'll see that video. And then I have a blue cheese, a Roquefort cheese, vegan Roquefort cheese. That's going into my dehydrator, as is this one for 24 hours. And you'll hear a little more about that. And what got me started, an interview that Chef AJ had with Julie Piet, and she is Rich Roll's wife, and she has a cheese company, and she has this cookbook, this cheese is nuts because a lot of her cheeses are made with nuts. This one is made with nuts. The last one, the orange cheese I made, the cheddar cheese was made with vegetables and very few nuts, one quarter cup in what amounted to over a quart uh, material that I could make the cheese out of. This one is definitely a nut cheese. This is a combination of both soaked cashews as well as pine nuts. And I got her book after I saw the interview. I created this little, I call it war chest, uh, cheese making set because so much of what she referred to, I didn't have. And so, yes, I had to kind of do some shopping. I went out, well, I went to Amazon, went on Amazon for everything, spirulina, spirulina, to make my Roquefort orange, um, Irish moss, which this is all ground up, soaked Irish moss, uh, in order to get a briny umami flavor. And you can look at the Roquefort video to see more about the moss, how I ground it up and everything. I talk more about that. I even am changing scarves, same sweater, but changing scarves with each one so that when I splice things together, I'll know what goes with what. <laughs> Just match the scarves, Nan. And um, this is what I'm making right now. It's the aged red pepper cashew pine nut blend. Doesn't that look nice? And this is actually red chili pepper that is pressed onto it. It could be nuts or it could be chili pepper. I'm going to use the chili peppers. I did that last time and people loved it. Okay, so this takes a while and you're going to see with the rope for one when you watch it, it doesn't just throw together. No, it throws together easily, but it doesn't necessarily blend easily because we have grainy. Oh, let me show you in case you're thinking, wait, Nan, maybe you saw pine nuts as a kid when you shook them out of pinion pine cones, but you may not have seen any in a while. That's a pine nut. See it? They're very buttery. They're very high in fat, actually, higher than most nuts. And so, no, is this diet food? Well, I don't count calories, but I do pay attention to fat content. And I don't go out of my way to get fat unless it's from whole foods. Yes, I'll eat avocado. I'll eat nuts. 
but I'm not gonna go crazy on this because although I don't count calories, I'm quite aware if I start adding something on a daily basis that I otherwise don't eat, and I'm able to keep my weight stable for years and years, I just turned 72, and at the end of October, I ran a half a marathon, 13 something miles, 13 point, is it one one? Um, but I'll gain weight if I go nuts, <laughs> nuts on something like this. So I'm bringing my charcuterie board. I'll have some of it left here, but I don't keep it around the house all the time or I'll start snacking. We tend to, our brain tells us to, for survival purposes, to go for the foods that are calorically dense. Unfortunately, everything in the standard American diet, the foods you buy in takeout, the foods you buy in restaurants, they're all loaded with all the things that light up our brain and says yeah and say yahoo eat more and that's salt oil and sugar and those are the things that I'm very careful to keep out of my diet I don't put oil in my foods and yet I've got a teaspoon of oil that goes in here because I'm following her recipe but I can live with that because this is not something I eat every day so cashews pine nuts I'm putting in a quarter of a cup of filtered water. In my home, filtered comes out of a spigot at the sink that is reverse osmosis. In our area, I don't like what we find in our municipal water, and so I don't go with that. This is one teaspoon of coconut oil. Julie um, Pia believes that coconut oil and coconut is the uh, food of gods, but unfortunately coconut and coconut oil is very high in saturated fat. It's like 80-90% saturated fat, so I don't do that, but when I'm making this, I'm going to follow her recipe and then I'll play more. Actually, there's another recipe that calls for three tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm going to substitute tahini. That's a whole food, meaning sesame seeds ground down. So I don't always follow it identically. And then because this is sort of an orangey cheese, we're making it more orange with, um, what are we adding? Uh, chili pepper and I also put, I put some hatch pepper and also some chipotle to kind of orange it up a little bit. Okay. And when I grind this, you're gonna see it's gonna take a while. And this is the boring part, sorry for the noise. action. I'm going to, I get to be very careful to keep this spatula up against the Vitamix and a Vitamix makes a big difference. It's one of the strongest blenders that you can get and a traditional blender you may not get this fine consistency and even with a Vitamix there's still a bit of graininess but actually in real cheeses your your cheeses tend to have some texture to them. So I'm going to stop and spoon it down or spatula it down a couple of times and then I'll show you when I'm finished um, what it looks like and put it in the, um, the cheese mold. So let me put you on pause. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm back. Now this took a bit of doing to give me this very nice consistency. I had to continue to push down on these, these um, edges to get it to continue to go into the vortex and try not to get it to chop up <laughs> my spatula. And it, it worked, and I've done this before, um, but it's, it, it takes time to, to do it. Uh, I'm gonna push this out of the way so I can get better edge here. Okay, 
So I'm, I have a spring form, a little four inch, it's actually a little wider than four inch, spring form pan that's, and I got these pans from Amazon for the cheeses. They're really just little baking pans, but they work really well because I wanted four inch rounds. You do much bigger for a cheese, and unless you have a huge crowd, um, or just one cheese to work with, uh, people usually take little bits of it. Okay, so I also, while I was doing this, decided, hmm, I want more flavor. I tasted it, I've already made it based on the recipe, and I remember somebody saying, I'd love it to be a little bit hotter. So I put a tiny bit of cayenne. I added some um, less than a, a half a teaspoon of um, smoky paprika to enrich the color. And I added some more chipotle. Now chipotle chili powder has a smoky flavor and I like a smoky flavor with this. So what's going to happen is with the, with the spring form pan, you don't have to turn it out, even though I put the parchment paper at the bottom, which allows me to do that rather easily. I cut around the edges and then I can turn it out. I can simply lift up the, um, the spring form ring by opening up the spring. It just opens up, widens it enough that it can just be pulled off. Now look how much, I'll show you in a minute. Look how much I still have left. So I'm delighted because as with my last cheese, the Roquefort, I made a little bit that I, I call my tester. Actually, I'm gonna show you my Roquefort because these two are both going into my dehydrator. Here's the Roquefort and when it's sliced, you'll see the marbling of it. And this is the cheese we've just done. You can see the difference in the pan sizes. And this little bit is what I get for myself to taste um, before I bring it to the party because I don't wanna do too much slicing up of that one. And I have enough left in here, looks awful, doesn't it, that I will do the same thing I'll have another one of my heat proof, not that it matters at 90 degrees, um, uh, little bowls. And I'm going to do the same thing with that 24 hours in the dehydrator to create fermentation. So I have one more I'm about to do, and that is the bean cheese. All white beans with only a quarter of a cup of cashews for a little bit of mouthfeel, and it's like a white cheese. Um, and then I'll be done. <laughs> One more scarf with the same blouse so that I can tell again when I'm putting these all together in bits and pieces, what goes where? Because I'm just on this um, sort of marathon, same clothes and just one video after another. Hope you're having a great day. I know I am. If I didn't say it in this video, I am Nan Simmons, an author of Aging Powerfully. I just turned 72. The audio book just came out as a celebration. This book came out two years ago. It's all about my journey through and to, <laughs> through not great health to really good health, using lifestyle as medicine, and I help you do the same thing with it. Um, subscribe, thumbs up, and consider the book, and have a great day because I know I'm going to. You'll see pictures of all of this at the end of the finished product, even of the charcuterie board when I'm about to bring it to the party. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.